guys, so today I'm showing you this adorable bed I got on Etsy. If you'd like to see us put it together and Bear's reaction, then let's get into it. So I'm so excited to show you guys this bed. We got it on Etsy. I've been looking to get him a really nice bed for a while and I kept seeing these on Instagram. So yeah, this one is from Dog and TP. They had a lot of amazing reviews and seemed to be the most popular on the site. A lot of people talked about how easy it was to build and I like that they had a lot of different color options. I couldn't decide so we just got the plain white but there are a lot of cute and fun patterns. You can also get your dog's name customized on the front for an extra cost. So if you do plan on getting one just keep that in mind. So here you can see they give a little pamphlet with instructions. It's very clear you just have to lay everything out. And there's also a bag with tools that you'll see in one of the next shots. It's just four screws and the one to help you screw it. Very simple, just four easy steps. So I'll show you guys us building it to give you an idea. As you can see, Bear was so curious. He kept walking all over it and sniffing everything. He wanted to help or play with the sticks, I think. Such a cutie. You can probably see us moving him and trying to distract him while we work on building. So yeah, a lot of it in the beginning was me staring at the instructions and trying to get the pieces together. I'll show you guys a fast forward of us building it. So yeah, we kept distracting him with treats and holding him. He was being so adorable and trying to help. So cute. It didn't take long. We built it in under 10 minutes. It's really just getting the sticks where they should go and then screwing them in, but that's really it. Now you can see we are tying the sticks to the fabric, making sure it's secure at the top and then the bottom ones help hold the curtain in place. You don't have to tie the bottom, obviously you can just let it hang as a curtain, but we just did it originally to see how it would look. Then the bed goes in. It's very light, but there is some support. So light support, I would say. I like it, you can put blankets over it, but we don't really because most of the time he gets too hot and it's already enclosed, so yeah. Also, we did get a size extra large because he is bigger than the average French Bulldog and we wanted to make sure he had a lot of room. So if it looks really big, that's why it does take up quite a bit of space. But again, we got the size extra large, so not complaining. So that's it. It's all built. Just showing you guys a close up of his name. We were trying to get him to go in and lie down for treats. He was being so cute and he was pretty excited. So yeah, that's it guys. I just wanted to show you in case anyone was considering getting it. We have moved it into the bedroom and I will do an updated video to show you how it fits in our bedroom. I absolutely love it. I think it's cute and it's his own space. However, I'm not sure if he really loves it Currently, he seems to still enjoy his old bed, and I'll go into more detail about that in the updated video. But in terms of the quality and the bed on a whole, I too love it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you plan on getting one of these beds or if you have one already. 
If you like this video, please like and subscribe below. We really appreciate it. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time.